And this is the last part of my three-part series of kind of like my fall 2018 trends. Now, if you haven't seen the first part, I would actually go like kind of consider checking that out just because I do go really into depth of all the trends and show examples versus like in this video, I'm just going to be showing you. So if you want to know why they're trends and stuff like that, you can check that video out. But yeah, um, I'm just going to style. I believe there are nine trends and we're just going to get right into it. And uh, as you guys know, I don't do my lookbook cinematic or anything. Do you see my cat right there? Anyways, uh, I don't do my lookbooks like cinematic or anything like that just because uh, I just suck. I can't do any of that. So I'm just going to be talking you guys through the trends. And if you like my style or anything like that, then my Instagram is going to be at 1-800-BUY. And then if you do like some of the pieces in this video, uh, some of them honestly may be up on my Depop. I am a reseller and that's going to be at Viola Demion. And we're just going to get right on into the video. outfit I feel like has a lot of trends mixing in I mean we have like the mixed print we have the clueless plaid but we're gonna go in order so this one is gonna be the whole neon trend now I feel like the pants aren't as neon the top is just like a really bright neon orange I don't know if it's picking up on camera but I feel like the best way to honestly style neon is to do the whole neon on neon so to kind of a color match and wear it like all in just the outfit itself so not necessarily wearing just like a neon top and then if I were to wear jeans like that would just be boring I mean I talked about it in my trends video how a lot of people are doing the whole just neon spandex uh, two-piece sets and I mean you could go like the more casual route and honestly I'm like obsessed with this outfit so let me just quickly go over it so this top is just a long sleeve Harley Davidson that I thrifted and at first I was gonna put it up on my Depop because it was way it's like way too orange it's like construction orange but then I was like no like this fits perfectly for the video and so I cropped it and then I I paired these pants with that I got from um, Forever 21 which I literally am obsessed with like I think they are just the cutest little pants. they're definitely like the whole I am Gia and Tiger Miss like all of those pants when they had the matching set and then I paired this fanny pack with it so this is a cheetah one again it's doing the whole mixing prints don't be afraid to mix your prints guys and this one is from the thrift store and then these shoes are just kind of like peeking through these are from Forever 21 as well they're just kind of like like white booties I feel like it really gives it that again adding a little bit of the 70s flair to the wide legged and um, the pointy toe and yeah that is pretty much it for this entire outfit by the way I wear this jewelry like almost every single day I sometimes just switch out the charms but if any of you guys not charms what am I talking about um like necklaces um, if any of you guys are wondering this top one is from guess this love one I believe is from forever 21 and then this rose one is from urban outfitters and and then this small like dainty rose earring is also from Forever 21. I just thought I would mention that. I mean, if I switch out the jewelry, I'll tell you what, where it's from. But typically, I, I will literally wear this with like every single outfit. So yeah, thought I would tell you guys. Uh, let's resume to the video. So for this next outfit, I'm actually going to be mixing two trends, which is going to be the animal print and the last trend, which is going to be the mixing prints, just because I feel like I'm going to be mixing prints like literally throughout this whole entire video. So I might as well just just say that it's going to be in like every single outfit so for the animal print if you guys watch my video obviously animal print is like always big in fall it's never it's always especially cheetah but for this year's like animal print it's honestly any type of animal print like a zebra cow giraffe colored animal print is very big now as well i'm not going to style colored animal print but um i figured i would show you which is probably like my favorite one to style which is a zebra i actually almost thrifted a pair of zebra pants the other day i'll insert the picture right here that's how i kind of styled it and then i had these shorts and i I'm honestly obsessed with them so I got these from Urban Outfitters now I know that like stuff like zebra is probably not for everyone or like cow or anything like that a lot of people want to stick to cheetah but I feel like the best way to style any type of funky animal print is to honestly this is gonna sound so cringy but make it like alternative kind of rock like don't try to mix like say I were to wear these zebra shorts and then I were to just wear like a simple black top like no that would be boring try to mix it up make it kind of rock and roll again ugh, I hate saying that but for this one I kind of tucked in a Rolling Stones t-shirt that I thrifted and then originally I was just gonna leave it like that but then I was like oh 
it would be even more cute if I took like this silky top that I always talk about I pair actually with band tees and I kind of made it off the shoulder and tied it and I kind of played with the like textures because this is a silky type so I feel like it honestly gives it even more of a rock vibe and I don't know I'm like really obsessed with the way that these two are showing I can't remember what designer did it on the runway but I talked about it I'm pretty sure it was Tom Ford that was mixing a lot of cheetah and zebra so that's kind of where I got the idea and then for the shoes honestly I'm not crazy about the shoes with this outfit but it's kind of all that really matched and these are just some studded booties that I got from the thrift store and then I paired it with these like blingy hoops that I also got from uh where did I get these I think Urban Outfitters and I kind of paired the classic like Brixton type of brim hat that I got actually from Forever 21 and I don't know if I said it but I did thrift this cheetah as well and yeah honestly the best way to do I feel like any type of if you're going a different type of animal print like I said is going to be trying to make it alternative so mix it with a band tee or some type of graphic tee like in the zebra pants I wore the Chanel top don't try to mix something plain because then it's I don't know I just to be honest, I don't personally like that. You might like that, but if you're trying to blend in more and not seem like, wow, she's wearing zebra pants, like make it alternative. Again, so annoying saying that. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this trend. I just want to quickly say, I know I'm wearing cheetah again. I'm sorry. It's just the way things are working out. I don't know. My entire closet is cheetah. I love this print. So it's just the way this lookbook is turning out. But the next trend is going to be shoulder pads. Now, as you can see, I am wearing like this is, it's not like that distinct shoulder pad. It's more of like a more loose shoulder pad, but it's making my shoulders again, appear way more larger than they are. I am obsessed with this jacket. I actually thrifted this one and I like it because it's giving it a little bit more of the 80s vibe with the windbreaker and like the pattern on it, but it's also giving it the muted tone, so more 70s. And I decided to pair it with a like tight form fitting dress that I got from um, I think Urban Outfitters. And at first I did actually pair this outfit with like some pants and like a tube top. And then it just looked awkward and I didn't know why. And I realized it's because my body just looked like it was being eaten. And it's because I was wearing like a little bit like loose pants and from the loose pants and the jacket, there was just too much going on. And because the shoulders are so big, it just it didn't, it didn't complement my body really well. So I guess a tip for when you wear shoulder pads is to wear something more tight fitting. So again, I wore a Dress. you could wear I mean if you want you could wear skinny jeans you could wear a skirt just something that complements your body really well so really well so like hugs your curves or something like that just so when you do again put on the jacket it's your body's not being swallowed and all the attention is more on the jacket which is why I decided to wear a dress because it does show a little bit more leg and then I paired these shoes with it so these shoes are from Urban Outfitters I'm like honestly obsessed with them I love how tall they are because they they're giving me like more of like the brats vibe where my legs just look way taller than they are I mean obviously I'm wearing heels that's what heels do but again the shoulder pads make um because it's so bulky on top the fact that I'm making my legs appear like longer and leaner it's not again eating up my whole body it versus if I were to like cover my entire leg or something like that and then also I did decide to put my hair up so my features are shown way more because I did have my hair down and again my entire thing was being eating up and not a lot of the attention wasn't on the shoulder pads which is what we want we want like when you look at the outfit you're like oh she's wearing shoulder pads and how many times can I just say shoulder pads but I decided to also just put this little mini bag with it that I got from my mom's closet but I thought it just fit really well with the texture of this jacket it's kind of like the same on this little purse and then I paired these little earrings that I got from Forever 21 and I kind of just like threw my hair up to kind of give it like that 90s vibe and yeah that is pretty much it this for this entire outfit. So as I just quickly looked to the footage, I realized that that jacket doesn't look like the shoulder pads are that intense. It honestly just looks like I'm wearing an oversized jacket, but I promise this jacket does have shoulder pads. I think it's just the way that it was like sitting on my shoulders but again when you wear shoulder pads it doesn't have to be like intense it's just enough to where it makes you look larger up here I guess is um what I'm trying to say and I feel like the tips still help in that little uh outfit idea like you could wear like even structured shoulder pads and still do the whole like hugging your silhouette and everything so yeah I'm sorry that 
it didn't kind of look like I was wearing shoulder pads, but I promise I was. This next trend is gonna be Western. And now I feel like in this outfit, it doesn't look as Western and I kind of purposely did it that way. So I revolved it around these cowboy boots. Now, if you did watch that trends video, I did go really into depth about the cowboy boots and the Western belts and not so much of like fringe and all of that. So that's why I'm only sticking to the cowboy boots. Now I actually did put like a Prairie Girl flannel top on, which was honestly really cute, but it looked too much like I was going to a country concert and that's what I didn't want for this outfit I kind of wanted it to be just have like a little bit of Western because I feel like when you wear cowboy boots you easily can look like you're going to a country concert versus this I feel like doesn't I mean hope I mean I don't think it does but yeah it starts with these boots which I actually thrifted they're not real or anything like that I paid like 14 bucks for them at the thrift store I just love that they're all blinked out and of course the easiest way I feel like to wear cowboy boots is to just pair it with a floral like pretty dress but I decided to pair it with this skirt that I got from Zaffle and I paired it with a silk cami because again I feel like it really tones down the western so I tried to like stick away from like the plaids and stuff or again that's too western for not too western but I didn't want this outfit to be too cowgirly and then I did thrift this top and then I paired it with this cute little bag that I thrifted as well honestly again I'm going with the whole animal print it's this really nice fuzzy giraffe print and it kind of goes a little bit more with the western just to give it just that much of a kick and yeah that is pretty much it for this entire outfit I don't know why I sounded so weird saying this outfit I think I'm dehydrated so yikes but let's go on to the next outfit so for this outfit it's gonna be based around the 70s so not necessarily this actual like 70s but more like the 70s color tones that's kind of how I was saying it in my video I mean I did like touch a little bit on the corduroy which is why I actually added these shoes just to give it a more 70s vibe because I feel like I'm always making my outfits a little bit more 70s so this time i wanted to kind of modernize it only using the color tones but since i talked about the shoes they are actually from zara and i got them for like i think nine dollars or something like that it was something crazy because they were having that big blowout sale and so these shoes are actually a size too big but i don't even care like i love that they hike all the way up and then with these pants how they're kind of like peeking through oh it just literally I'm obsessed with them and these pants are from forever 21 I feel like they kind of make the outfit in terms of like the whole 70s color tones because it just has all the different colors on it and to kind of match a little bit with the uh, like yellow on them I paired this mustard pukey color that like top that I got from yikes Z no not Zara oh my god Zaffle I got this one from Zaffle and I just I think this is what make modernizes the outfit because this is just such an Instagram top like down how it goes like that and I'm honestly just like in love with it and then the back kind of just cuts out so it's very open and yeah that's pretty much it for this outfit I think it's like very basic kind of in a way but i don't know it's like a good way to call like incorporate your 70s if you don't really like like the actual 70s era of the clothes with like flare pants just incorporate the tones honestly i love anything puke colored i think it's honestly my entire wardrobe but yeah that's pretty much it for this outfit this next outfit is based around the clueless plaid which is again the classic yellow plaid i really didn't want to wear this dress because i felt like it was the easy way out but i figured since i already did kind of a clueless plaid in my first outfit figured this would be okay now if you did watch that video um the clueless plaid is pretty much just colored plaid so anything obnoxious again in the first outfit I wore those yellow yellow I wore the orange plaid pants and then on this one I'm wearing just literally like the classic clueless plaid and I feel like the cutest way to even style it is to wear fur with it because it really gives off that clueless vibe so I decided to pair this little pink scrunchie I wish I had a yellow one that would have been way cuter but for now I just did the pink and then I paired it with just this like faux fur bag and I got both literally everything that I just mentioned is actually from Urban and then to kind of dress it down and give it more of a sporty vibe just because my hair is like messy I paired it with this corduroy jacket that I actually just thrifted and it's so cute because it has like little flowers on the buttons which is honestly so adorable and then I paired my favorite shoes in the entire world which is just these Skechers I like kind of like how it gives it in a way like that brats look with my hair like this i wish i had like the really chunky buffalo shoes because i feel like that would have been perfect but these are like 
kind of close to it I mean they're not as high but it kind of gives off that same effect and yeah that is pretty much it for this entire outfit I guess like what I'm trying to say is to style clueless plaid do it with any like accents of faux fur like with accessories and stuff and then you're good to go and the very last trend is gonna be the obnoxious layering honestly I am so hot right now but I feel like if you didn't watch my uh, fall trends video okay I feel like I say that in every like little outfit but um I'm serious. You guys don't know what I'm talking about with the whole obnoxious layering. It's kind of like that whole inspired Balenciaga, that coat that was literally like thousands of dollars just for a f coat, big coat, having fake layers. That's kind of like what I based the inspiration off of for all of these layerings. And also I did mention like really obnoxious big coats are also in, is also what I called it. I don't know. This is really hard to explain it because it looks like I'm just wearing a bunch of layers. But pretty much the way that I decided to style and base it off that Balenciaga jacket is just creating my own like fake layers and it it's kind of taking it as like in the winter you usually will wear like a big sweater and then like a denim jacket as layering but just because it's winter doesn't mean you have to like you like for example can't wear crop tops so for this one I made it wearable to where you have a crop top but then you could also layer a bunch of like things on and like I can still move like I'm not uncomfortable and I can tell you right now I will be pretty freaking hot if I wear this in the winter I mean maybe not like in the snow no honestly in the snow too like I would wear this to Lake Tahoe if I'm being honest maybe like I would wear like snowshoes but um yeah so <laughs> let's just get started so this little tube top I got from Forever 21 and I'm kind of sticking to a plain one just because I wanted the layers to have more fun so again like I talked about those silky like pajama tops uh, those are probably the best way to use them as layering I got both of these from the thrift store again I'm sorry I feel like this whole video should be like how to style cheetah but they have so many different kinds of prints at the thrift store I'm not kidding I come across like hundreds of these at the thrift store all the time and so they're great for layering because they're really thin so it doesn't it does they don't like bunch up your arms like it's still like you still have movement and then I kind of threw this big Big, um, not big it's kind of really fitted faux fur jacket that actually one of my friends mom's friends gave to me because she was going through her closet and then I paired it with these like um, pants and I'm obsessed with them because they're from Forever 21 and they were only like $27 or something crazy cheap they're definitely under $30 and I'm just obsessed with the bottom like the way it frays and then how the shoes just really tie into everything again I'm gonna say this but I feel like this outfit is like very rock and roll vibes in a way it, except the top is kind of giving me like lingerie curtain times but I kind of like it I don't know I like how the um, snake skin matches with the red again it feels like I'm going to some type of rock concert and then I paired it with this crossbody bag that I got from yikes Zara I got it from Zara and then the shoes I did thrift as well and yeah that's pretty much it for this entire outfit I did leave out actually one trend which is kind of like the um a little tacky logos like the Dior logo that's popular actually hold on I keep mentioning this bag right here in like every single thing but you guys get what I'm talking about I didn't really want to mention it just because like I could easily use this bag as this outfit and then call it a trend but yeah anything um with prints like that kind of like that classic Louis you don't have to do an expensive brand it could be literally XOXO or something like that but yeah pretty much it for this entire video honestly I'm in a big rush right now that's why I sound like a psychopath but yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know what your guys' favorite outfit was or you know any of that and I'll see you guys in my next video bye